Hello, hello, hello everyone and good morning to you all. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. If you're just passing through, please consider subscribing uh, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a video or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so today is the 25th of January. So one month ago, we were celebrating Christmas. And now, here we are on the home stretch to the end of January. I can't wait for January to be done. I don't like January. I just don't care for it. It's usually the very coldest month. Uh, February is kind of iffy, but I find that once we get to uh, February, that it goes pretty fast through the month. And then we're getting closer and closer to March where the weather turns really nice. So that's what I'm looking for. Bring on spring, I say. <laughs> Alrighty, so what am I working on? I am working on Welcome Gnome. And I'm going to be working with this color, which happens to be 720. Decided to put a little bit of color in this gnome. He looks so washed out in all this yellow. Oh, yeah. So, um, make sure I got this right. So, yeah, what happened yesterday? Well, not a whole heck of a lot. I sat and stitched a great majority of the day. I did go outside with Miss Lilybell. And Jonah's down here, too. And um, to put her outside. And when I was outside, I decided, well, I'm going to kind of push some snow there off the deck. And to um, make it look better. Because she pees on the deck. And it goes right through and then just lays there and freezes. So, um, yeah, so I had a lot of yellow snow. <laughs> Remember as a kid, they said, you can eat snow as long as it's not yellow. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so, and then I spent the day, though, I, I've been on this kick. I've been watching any kind of stitching where they do their whip parade or their plans for 2024. I just want to see what everybody's stitching or what certain people are stitching, right? And it's just, I, I was just on this kick here. And, um, cause it's always nice to see what people are stitching, what they're doing, um, where their interests lie, you know, how far they've gotten, you know, how many um, FFOs they have, how many UFOs they've got. Yeah. So, so I just find one that comes across and I just sit there and I, I uh, watch it. Well, I don't really, really watch it. I look to see, like, um, 
it's mostly, well, there's a lot of printed ones. There's a lot of counted ones too. And I, uh, I just want to see where they, especially when they start talking about on Etsy, because that's my go-to. And I just want to see what they're, what they are uh, stitching on. Found some interesting designs and new Etsy shops that I didn't even know anything about. So, yes. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'll show you in a minute here. Yeah, I decided here I'm going to put a little bit of color in my gnome instead of all this yellow. Oh, the yellow kind of gets at you. Oh, the one thing I found was there are a lot of people doing, and they... They've been doing long dog samplers, but um, I've seen a lot do the um, pandemic. So I might drag that out, even though I messed it up royally. I'm going to see if I can salvage it. I don't know when yet, but I would like to try and salvage it if I can. <coughs> oh, and, and a lot of people are starting um, from Long Dog Sampler, the um, saga. I don't know if I'm... I think it's called... Uh, what? Stitching a... Something arches. There's arches in there. And um, so, yeah, it's, um, I, I, I can't see myself doing that. Pandemic, yeah. I might pick it up because I did quite a bit. I did, I was on my third page. And, and then I messed it up that I, um, but now that I've got my, um, my washable pen there, I'm going to see about making the lines on there and that should help a lot. Absolutely a lot. So I'm only stitching it in one color, but it is a variegated, and it's DMC 115. Oh, one thing I've also been seeing is that there are a lot of stitchers using that CXC thread. Now, I don't know, is this CXC? And how do you know if it is or not? But the one thing that has really come across is that everybody says it's comparable. It's just like the, um, the colorist threads. And it's, um, you know, I, I find them comparable. But they're called Arrow. I don't know if that's CXC, but they say it's very comparable. And if this is it, I've been using it for a long time, many, many years. <clears throat> and I don't have a problem with it. Not at all. Not at all. Some people are just absolute diehard DMC. 
I find it no different than a lot of other threads, except for the case that it's cheaper. So, yeah. Oh, I was going to show you. This is how far I've worked on Firebird. I had made a boo-boo in here somewhere. So I had to I had to take it out. And um so now I've been re redoing this part. So but I got down here, and this is right around the halfway mark down, okay? So, and as you can see, I've already done the numbers, so it's not much to go down here. But, yeah, that's it. I've also been looking through some of my really old, old, old British cross-stitch magazines. These mag magazines are absolutely phenomenal. And this is the last one I've got right here. And um, I know there's several, like Joan Elliott put a lot of her designs in those magazines. And um, I've stitched quite a few of her designs from there. I wish they would offer them as PDFs. I know it's either Cross Stitch Collection or uh, the World of Cross Stitch or Cross Stitch or something like that, whatever it is. Uh, you can get one of them is that it's still produced in PDF format. And I think that's good. I did buy um, the whole set of I don't know how many magazines there are 72 or something from the gift of stitching and to minimize you know the amount of space I just delete pages that are just you know not something I wouldn't use or whatever, and then that reduces the amount of space that it takes up in your iPad or whatever it is, tablet. I'm glad I'm doing some bit of color in here. just to kind of take away from all that yellow. So please remember, I do have a Facebook group and it is called Stitching in the Interlink. Okay, now listen carefully. Put your listening ears on. If you want to gain access to... Uh, the Facebook group, 
you absolutely must 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 oh just a minute here this is down too far there sorry it's kind of falling <laughs> um you must 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 give me the name of one of my two sidekicks and i had somebody else come on this morning wanting to get into the group but she didn't answer the question. So you must answer the question. Okay? And it's easy. Just watch my videos. I, I say their names every single video. They're getting whittled down, though. I can tell you that. It's just... I don't know what's going to happen when one of these two go. I am still very much considering moving over there to the villa. So I don't know if I want to do another another winter here i don't know i'm tired of the snow i'm tired of the you know but i won't go until one of these two pass away and they head over the rainbow bridge and I hope it's not for a long while, but it's whenever the good Lord calls them. It's whenever the good Lord calls them. So, oh, did I mention? Ugh, I put my garbage out the other day on Tuesday. And they came to pick up the garbage. And normally with the garbage can, they just kind of push it off the driveway like off, off beside the road and push it down the driveway a little bit so didn't think anything of it and I didn't go out there to get it and I was going to go out the next day and I looked out my front window to look at the birds and see about going and getting my garbage can well I'm not going to be getting no garbage can it's just bits and pieces of plastic out there now I don't know when that happened was it overnight with the um, snow plow the grader All of that. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Normally the garbage guys, they're very good. They're very good. And they just kind of take it and push it away because they know that the snow plows come around right and for whatever reason it did not go oh i had decided i was going to read this and this is for the and if you're if you read French, that's what that is. Okay. Um, and I wanted to get a little bit of a... I wanted to get a little bit of an idea of what I can expect. 
And I read it. And then when I was talking with Juliet, I read it to her. And I said, well, what do you think this means? Because they talk about being on a certain course. And it is not to test your driving ability, but your cognitive ability. Okay. So I don't know, is it that they will try and send you down the wrong way on a one-way street? Will they try to, um, you know, make you second guess yourself, you know? Um, it has nothing to do with driving, you know, the skills of driving. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. And the test runs about 30 to 45 minutes, depending. So I don't know if, if it is... And they talk about an on road, but then they talk about like it is a, it's almost like a closed course. So I don't know. I don't know. It's just, um, I just don't know. The one thing is, I wish they'd hurry up and phone. Tomorrow, it will be five days since I went there and it was called in. And I have not heard. There was supposed to be a paper in here. She had put, put a paper in here. I don't. And she put the name of the the lady that she had spoken to. Well, it's got to be there. It's got to be there. So. I guess they figure when you get to be our age that you and you've been driving all your life, you know how to drive, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this morning, and I've been saying this for a week or more, I wanted to make some potato salad, <laughs> so I finally boiled up my potatoes. I just had the little, the little, the little ones. I got them at Costco, and I thought, yeah, I better, I better use them up. And I've just been having a hankering for potato salad, so. I want to put, I've got vegan mayonnaise, so I can put that in there, put a little bit of mustard in there, put some onions in there, and um, yeah, and just have that. I don't eat a lot of potatoes. I just haven't. Like, it might be a year. Because I can't remember how long ago it was I had potatoes. So. Yeah, so I am going to. I'm going to make them up. I had a few of the small potatoes, not 
they were uh, rotten. So, yeah, there is also the dedicated email address, which is stitching in the interlink at gmail.com. I mean, how easy can you get it, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm glad I'm working on another color here to kind of brighten this up and cut down on this yellow. I know it's supposed to be that it is, um, you know, sunflowers and that. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different than the yellow. Yeah. So what do you guys got planned for the day? Anything interesting? I don't know what, I haven't got much else planned for the day. Not at all. Miss Twinkle Toes there, Lily Bell, she got me up at quarter to four. And I put her outside and brought her back in here. And then I went and crawled back into bed, and I slept until hmm, almost 6 o'clock. So that's good. I was kind of debating, should I stay up? And I thought, no, I can't stay up. I got to go back to bed. Yeah. So please remember on Sunday, there will be a live from 12 till 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. So I hope you'll all join me. And I hope that we're going to have a lively discussion. And um, it's always nice to read what you guys have to say, what you're working on. That's the good thing about over there on the Facebook group, that you can post your pictures over there, whether they're progress or they're um, finishes or new starts or, you know, what your plans are for... Um, Fantasy Fairy Tale February. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing the teacup. I find that one absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. I love the design. I love the fantasy aspect or the fairy tale aspect of the design. I think I will show you that tomorrow. I don't, I just don't have it right here. So I had taken everything and put it over in the craft room. And one day I got to sort through that craft room. Absolutely, I do. So. Yeah. So, 
there you can see I've added a little bit of color in there. And it will show up more the more that I work on that. I just needed to cut some of that, that darn um, yellow down. It's just, it gets to be too much. And, um, and it also, you know, it, it kind of makes you feel like you're making progress. But I had wanted to work on that background and at least make a good dent in it. And I did because I didn't want to leave it till the end. I don't even know why I started it, to be honest with you. I don't know why. Like, talk about a dumb mistake. <laughs> Absolutely. And we do that. I don't care who you are. You always make... You look at it and you go, Duh, why did I do that, right? So. So anyway, I'm going, I'm starting right here on here. So um, we'll see how far I get. I'm going to work on this for a little bit. And um, yeah, and hopefully make it so that it's not so yellow. Yeah. Just kind of tone it down some. All right, everybody. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does, let me see here if I can, if I can get that right there where they are. There they are. There's Jonah, the cat, and Lily Bell, my old girl. Yeah, that's them. I hope that showed up. <laughs> I hope you didn't just get a blank screen or something. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, have a fantastic Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, for those of, the, of you that... Uh, work your traditional Monday to Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes, 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 yes. All right, everybody, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Diddle littles, everybody!